Okay, Marcus. Um, I think I would put sci-fi and western. Um, uh, give them capital letters. I think you might want to think about putting these in capitals, in, sorry, in bold to make them stand out. Uh, latter, that is, two T's. And featured representations of the vast landscape. Human and geographical, that's fine. Why don't we say challenged by sci fi? And again, sci fi with a capital letter. Maybe you could say something about um, a comparison, I don't know, films. I'm just looking at the films. Um, you know, it's interesting. I, don't, I can't see any westerns in there at all. Um, okay, I can't make the point that I was hoping to make. Uh, I was just thinking, you know, what was going on at the same time. The trailer can now be viewed. Are you really going to say that to people? Um, um, Western, let's go capital here and all of them. Could be seen. I don't know why you that formulation is there. Uh, can be said to the first of these. Oh, that's not quite. Uh, the first. Oh, hello. The first of these being the exponent of the unknown frontier, yeah. Again, bolden, embolden these. I think it just makes them stand out, otherwise it looks all a bit confused. Right, this little paragraph, it's just too dense here, okay? So let's say the first of these in the unknown frontier. And just split, make it split the paragraph up. It's all. Uh, the need for wild law and order in the Wild West. Um, the importance of, of community, the role of the sheriff. You're trying to reduce it down, distill it down to the perfect thing. You need to be a bit more generous with the ideas that you're throwing out here. So the second being the need for the law of order in while we're seen in films such as High Noon. OK, more of that, more about that. Say it's about community, about stability, about how um, individuals uh, and groups have to impose order on a lawless uh, space, a law, a lawless territories, and how they're constantly under threat, and they have to make themselves secure against that. Why can't you give us a bit more explanation here, rather than just going law and order in the wild west? Seen in films such as High Noon, it's so compressed. Okay, that may be your what you want, but it doesn't help to explain what uh, what your theme is. A bit more generosity with your description here. Um, 
Blade Runner needs a capital R. Uh, so, uh, so later science fiction versions of these films. I think you need to say they're perfect correspondent. Well, they're not because they happened years and years apart. Uh, so let's say, um, say later. Uh, correspondence to films like this uh, would be, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you should have the details for that. I mean, it should be an item. Oh, well, it's got a lot longer. Uh, too long, in fact. Um, Right. I don't think you can go into talking about this until you have made it clear that you are writing about the Star Trek film you're writing about. Because, although it's fine to introduce the idea of the Star Trek franchise, this is film studies. Okay? So here holds great similarity of the Star Trek franchise. This is not acceptable. You need to bring in whichever those whichever those Star Trek films you're talking about and say, blah, 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 this is the film. This is what happens in the film. I'm focusing on the film. One film which holds similarity to the whole background of Star Trek and this film is Wagon Master. Okay? Uh, here you need to say that in Wagon Master, and in order for us to see it's a title, it needs to be italicized, as all your film titles need to be. Uh, right. Is this in? Starfleet's non-interference policy if it's in the film. If not, leave it out. Or you've got to think of something else. You can only work, apart from the major thematic, well, maybe, but focus on the film. Hi. I'm just doing... Hang on a sec. Um, come sit and we'll just finish this off. Okay. Um... I have a real problem with the fact that you're talking more about the Star Trek franchise than uh, the actual film, and I don't think you can do that. So if you're talking about Wagon Master, you have to compare it with the film. This is film studies, not TV studies. Mm -hmm. So you're going to need to, although I think you can introduce um, the whole Star Trek idea mm -hmm. by talking about the TV series. Mm -hmm. After that, you have to say, the film I've chosen to look at from the okay. franchise is, which one is it? Uh, Star Trek, the new generation. I right. forgot which Do one. You, I the I new generation is a TV series. That's not okay. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd choose one of the films. Yeah, it's very clear to me that you haven't because it's not there. I mean, yeah, yeah. You t you started talking about Star, and I need you to to fix on the film. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look, this is all telly. Yeah. So it's, so I can't put that in. I wouldn't. Wouldn't, okay. No, I wouldn't, because what you've told me in your annotated catalogue is that I'm looking at these three films, Avatar, Dances mm -hmm. with Wolves, Star Trek, Barbel, Barbel, The Revenge mm -hmm. of Khan, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. You haven't even mentioned that film. You've just started talking about telly. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's culturally interesting, yeah. but you've got to hang it on the film itself. Okay. All right, hang on. Let me just... <clears throat> 